You know, I always found it funny that people will typically buy a new phone every year or every second year, but when it comes to their router, they probably have the same one they've been using for the last four, five, or maybe even six years. Well, today, we're gonna to be looking at a router made by Google. This is the OnHub, and they made it in collaboration with TP-Link, another network manufacturer uh, based out in Asia. So through this collaboration, they've basically tried to create a router for the home, Google devices, and also for iOS devices as well. And this is what they have. This is, it doesn't even look like a router. It's got a cylinder shape, as you can see, but um, it's a very interesting product designed by Google. Now, it's got 12 antennas built into it, and you can see if I take the lid off, this is what it looks like. And the antennas are built in. You got six 2.4 gigahertz antennas and six 5 gigahertz antennas. So you do know it's a dual band router able to do both bands. The 5 you typically would do when you're streaming uh, games or watching movies like say on Netflix. The 2.4 is more of your standard Wi-Fi for doing your web browsing. Has a bit of a longer range but not as fast speeds that you would get on the 5 gigahertz. And it's all inside this design right here. If I turn it around you can see all the connection options. Of course you are going to need to connect from your modem into here to get your internet, you know, broadcast that signal through Wi-Fi. And it also has an additional Ethernet port. This is a lot different from other routers on the market. Typically they will have maybe four or five Ethernet ports on the back to connect things like um, gaming consoles or a streaming box or even a smart TV, but this only has one. So for wireless devices, not really for hardline devices. There is also a USB port, but at launch, the USB port wasn't working. So I imagine they're gonna do that through a software upgrade in the near future to allow you to connect things like a printer to make it wireless so that any device connected to the network will be able to print. So who is this for? Well, of course, if you have a lot of Android devices, um, you're definitely going to want to check this out at least. Everything works in terms of the app, the Google On app, and that's a really easy way to set up routers because historically routers were very, very difficult to set up. Now you don't even need a computer. You can do everything on your smartphone. Another interesting design feature is the speaker is right here on the top. It doesn't have a microphone built in, so you're not going to be able to talk to the Google on Hub router, but what's an interesting feature is that the speaker will actually emit tones that Android devices can listen into to create a pairing network to the Wi-Fi network, which I thought was kind of cool and innovative, something that we haven't seen on any other router to date. So if you are on the market for a router and you have a lot of wireless devices and not many wired devices, you definitely want to check it out. This is the Google OnHub router in collaboration with TP-Link.